we're going to be scouting Tony Bradley. Now, see, watching centers is a work of art. The one thing I want you to notice is that Tony Bradley, he's a very quick twitch big man. And what I mean by that is, see how he rolls at the rim like that? Three steps and then he's able to put up that hook. Now, this is his first game in Denver. And really, it was his first action. So, even though he's raw, you can just tell the instinctual ability that he has. Look at how quickly he locates the ball with his eyes as he rotates to the rim. Here he catches and lays it up. And just that nice touch. So, for example, Dwight Howard would always try and grab and slam something down. Tony Bradley has a much better control with his upper body and with his long arms of 7 foot 5 wingspan. And just his mobility allows him to guard a Nikola Jokic here. And then you're able to see the big man run in transition and able to get trips to the FIFA line. He shot a career about 60% from the line. So it's no Jerome B, but if you remember back the year 2000 when I grew up, Watching NBA basketball, 60% of the people are actually pretty good. And here you see the deflection, which causes the turnover. Very active hands for a center. Here he's able to set the pick. Kind of a rolling sort of pick. But then that activity again as he gets the ball and able to find Reed, but Reed couldn't handle it. But what I really want you to notice, look at his low center of gravity. The low center of gravity meaning that his base, if you just look at sometimes when they zoom up, you can see that his hips, that they're well positioned and they're flexible. This is what allows him to really be able, he played a strong defensive game between rebounds in this ball game. And you can just continue to see his activity, his quickness. Really, now, on other tapes, you'll see his offensive game flash, and you'll be able to see this better. But what if Jaleel Okafor cared about the game of basketball? If Jaleel Okafor gave a damn about basketball, he'd be Tony Bradley. Quick to the ball, long arms. See that flashing? That is exactly what Okafor would have done. Except Bradley is a much more aggressive much more hungry basketball player than Okafor had ever been. Look at that. You can't teach that. You cannot teach that at all. So we're going to be looking at the uh, next clip. As he gets another rebound. And I believe he's going to rebound this and put it back in. And just that nose of the ball. So here is his breakout game of sorts of Chicago. Give me that. As he's able to go and lay this up. Yeah, just that nice activity for a center. And here. He's able to get deep low post position. And for any big, once you get deep low post position, it's over. But again, just look at how he uses his hips. And that coordination. That activity allows him to deflect the ball back out, which leads to the speed ball. He's able to set the screen, and he's such a great roller. That ability of his to roll to the basket is a really nice skill to have. Here he is again, because he's so quick and because he's powerful with his 6'10 frame, that initial burst of speed, once he gets that, it's the same thing as a Duncan. And you just can't stop it once you're being me that close to the rim. And uh, here we go again with a nice little hook shot. The rebound. And he's a pretty damn good rebounder too. Per 36, he averages about 14 rebounds a game. Because of that wide center body that he has. And give me that block. He's also a great blocker. Because of his quick twitch. That's what I want everyone to really take away. Tony Bradley is very, very quick. He's a very quick big man. 
Tony Valley athletically reminds me of when Jerome B was in Kansas. That kind of quick twitch to the basketball is exactly what you would have seen from Jerome B in Kansas and maybe his first rookie year. He's able to get the rebound put back. Because again, he plays tall. That's the other thing. Alda Abden Adley would probably say it too. He plays tall. He plays strong. He plays above the rim. He doesn't bring it down. He is very, very underrated. Uh, actually, underrated might not even be the word. I, I can understand the skepticism because he hadn't gotten much time. John B's been healthy this year. John B's been playing 33 minutes tonight. But Tony Badley, he had played some damn good basketball in this game and also in the game against the Wizards when he was able to come in. So again, um, this will be another clip. This one from the bubble when you play with the Utah Jazz. And you can see once again that ability to roll. And once you roll like that, it's just really easy to finish. And because he's a quick twitch guy, he can guard a pick and roll. He can guard it both ways. He can hedge some picks or he can drop coverage with his long arms and still get to this basketball. And just terrific low post defense. And here he is again. Up strong. Stay strong. Get the put back. Off ball screen and roll situation. Able to dive to the rim and one. Should have been a foul but I digress. Here again he's able to be a dunk spot. Layup is good. Get that out of here. You thought that soft shit was going to go in? <laughs> and he doesn't do this often and not necessarily accurate. But if he can knock down a shot like that consistently, he will most definitely be an NBA starter. He should start in the NBA right now, to be honest. With his ability to defend at a high clip, his incredibly high rebounding, the difference between him and Andre Drummond is that he is actually a positive and protector. Andre Drummond, not so much. But a guy like Tony Valley is very active around the rim on the defensive end of the floor. And here's a breakout game for the summer league. See that? <laughs> Tony Bradley. The situation with this young man was... He played behind Rudy Gobert, and he played behind Derek Favors, but he's good. He is a starting level big man in this league. The Los Angeles Lakers wasted their time starting Marcus Gasol. Tony Bradley is better than Marcus Gasol at, at this stage of Tony Bradley's career. So I'm going to be honest with you. If Marcus Gasol is starting for an NBA team, Tony Bradley is a starter in the association. Because of that ability to run the floor as a big man, catch, oh, and, oh, come on, where was the foul? He's impeding the path of the offensive player, come on. <laughs> wide body, center catch, bucket. If you're standing with your hips out wide, your legs wide, and you catch up high, it should be a layup or a foul every time. In fact, I want Jarrell to do some of this a little bit himself. I want Jarrell to be able to get his body wide. Get those hooks. We saw the same with Boban Bajanovic. Just catch it up high. Get yourself a hook. Get yourself a nice little eight-foot jump shot. Because as gifted as Joel has been scoring this year, I feel like Joel sometimes makes it difficult on himself. So, kind of, it's not sexy. But two points and two points. That doesn't have to always be sexy. Take that eight, ten-foot jump shot. Swish money. Woo! Activity and it forces the out of bounds. This little yeah, this action was also ran by Beth Brown, ironically. This screen to screen action and it gets Bradley a layup. And that just shows you how athletic Tony Bradley is that he's able to roll to the rim like this. So he's an elite rim roller, really. Well, let's use the leap with the KB out that he had not played many games. But he had the speed and the touch to be an elite rim roller in the NBA. Now this one, 
this actually shows you his ability to rebound the ball and his ability to play defense. He only ended up getting three shots in this game. You know, and that, that was one of those two right there. But in spite of the fact that this isn't going to show him in the best light, a so-called moving screen that I disagree with, but you'll see his athletic prowess even in this game. Like, this is great post-defense, and then he gets the rebound. Like, if you're looking for a center to score, that won't necessarily be Tony Bradley all the time. I feel like he's bigger, more physical this year as opposed to in this playoff game in the bubble. But still, what I want you to take away positively is his base core hits and his ability to rebound the ball is very rare. Like, John B is a damn good rebounder, but John B is an athletic rebounder. This is all technician here. This is all, I got wide hips, I'm active to the ball, I'm looking up every time the ball is shot. He is capable of starting for the Sixer team in this two-week stretch. And if he does start and Dwight Howard plays good, you're going to get good center production. It's up to the guards if they can keep up their play so we can stay number one in the Eastern Conference. Six of the Universe, signing off.